Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wiseant, and I'm answering a question submitted by a student. And uh, this question is a difficult one. Um, and I think the best way to deal with it is by graphing each one of these functions and then uh, relying on the graph to give us the answer. I don't think you're going to make much progress if you uh, try to do this with algebra. So I'm going to write each one out in a different color. We'll start with red. <clears throat> so the first one is one, oops. Get this taken care of first. We'll move this over. Okay. So it's going to be 1 plus 2 over x plus 1. And the easiest way to deal with this is just to think about the uh, a sketch here. So you're going to have, when x is negative 1, <clears throat> you're going to get a vertical asymptote. So here's my vertical asymptote at negative 1. For a horizontal asymptote, as x gets really big, uh, this becomes 0. So the horizontal asymptote is positive 1. And so there's my there's my uh, my sketch. Then you would just fill in the uh, fill in by just choosing some data points. Uh, for example, when x is one, y is two. So we've got this point one comma two. So we'll fill that point in, and then. The rest of it has to do with the asymptotic behavior. And so you can do a nice sketch here. When x is, uh, pick another point, when x is negative 2, when x is negative 2, it becomes 1 plus 2 over negative 2 plus 1. That's one plus uh, two over negative one, so it's one minus two, It'd be negative one. So when x is negative two, y is negative one. Here we go. So that's two comma negative one. I should have labeled this one. <coughs> The other one is one comma two. And here we go. Asymptotic behavior dictates the shape of this curve. Okay, let's change colors and we'll do the other one in blue. And it's 2 over x. This is a classic hyperbola. You shouldn't have any trouble with this. You have a vertical asymptote here. Horizontal asymptote here. And asymptotic behavior <clears throat> dictates this curve. When, but when x is 1, you see y is 2 here. So it's going to go through the same point that our other curve went to. It's just going to have different asymptotes. And then when x is 2, 
y is a positive 1. So x, oh, sorry, x is negative 2, excuse me. Negative 2, negative 1 here. When x is negative 2, y is negative 1. So it's just going to come in here like this. Cross over and look like this. So these are the two arms of the hyperbola classic hyperbola. This is also a hyperbola and <clears throat> blue is actually the parent function. This is the child function and um, it's been shifted. Uh, as you can see it's been shifted left one and uh, raised up one. So now it's a little bit hard to see <clears throat> because um, it's very difficult for me to draw out a scale here. So it's going to be a little hard to see how to answer this question. So I'm just going to uh, import, import a graph that I did on Desmos. So let's, let's do that. And drag over here and put it up here like this. Hopefully you can see the graph without too much trouble. Make it a little smaller. Hope it fit here. Okay, so the question really is, when is the red below the blue? You can see that the red is above the blue. But then you get down here, and you can see that the red is below the blue here because, um, for example, when x is negative 1, the blue is negative 2. But the red at negative 1 is super low, super small. And then over here, when is the red above the blue, well it's above the blue to the right here, clearly. Um, and it's below the blue, let's say it's at zero, for example, I mean blue never gets, blue is infinitely large at zero, but you can see this is not infinitely large and so on. So the answer is, based on what my eye is telling me. I need to change the color here. Okay, so where is the red bigger than the blue? From negative infinity to uh, negative two, red is bigger than blue and Red is bigger than the blue from 1 to positive infinity on the right hand side of the curve. So here red is bigger on the left side <clears throat> going up to this intersection point of negative 2, negative 1. And here red is bigger from this point 1, 2 all the way out and so that's your answer here so it's really the best way to do this in my opinion um, if you try with algebra you're going to end up with all sorts of crazy things because i mean because of the asymptotic nature of both of these curves okay so that's it for this one um, i hope this helped you and i'll see you again next time bye bye